Okay, so um, this is a basic intro on how to uh, use XAMP to actually run a bunch of SQL files that include the uh, database schema, uh, that's like the create create tables, etc., um, and insert the data. So um, I found some basic ones online. Uh, I am currently, as you know, playing around and trying to clean up some data files that are current, but for now we'll just, it's good to have something that you can play around with. So these are the ones that I found online. Um, <clears throat> so this first one, learning, sorry, MySQL sample database, that one is, this is the, uh, the diagram. So basically you can tell there's some kind of uh, products that we're selling. So there's products um, that we have, we could have many products uh, with an order detail. We've an order and um, we've got customers and those customers would be related to employees and those employees would be related to an office, etc. So that's kind of the basic structure of the, di of the uh, database. Um, and then to actually run this, um, as you know, we're in here with XAMP, MySQL. I had started it. I'm going to stop it, start it again. Okay, we'll go to shell. So it started again. So this is just a basic run through for students who might have uh, forgotten. So um, on our basic page that we've been going to a lot, the MariaDB basics, okay, it tells you what to do here. So um, back into here. Okay, so I'm going to log in. And as you already know, if you want to understand uh, these different components, just have a quick read of that paragraph right there. Okay, so um, <clears throat> it says none here. That means that we're not currently in any type of database. I've actually already run this uh, particular database. Um, but the nice thing is, is that when you actually look at the SQL file, so the best way to do that, or easiest way is in Notepad. So it is here. Okay, I'm going to open with Notepad. Okay, uh, the nice thing is you'll see that it's it's set up nice. This one's organized well. It actually drops the table first um, if it already exists. So what's going to happen is um, same with here, uh, the correct database, etc. So the fact that it already uh, exists is not a big deal if I run this again because it's just going to basically um, drop all the tables, start them again, make them look pretty. So um, that way I can show it to you. So I'm going to close that. Okay, so we're in. Um, all we need to do to run an SQL file is, and again, SQL, SQL, same thing. Um, depends on the day, <laughs> on the moment. Uh, so anyway, so to run this, I'm going to write source, space, and then we need to know the directory st structure. You, depending on your computer, depending on what you prefer, um, don't just put it anywhere randomly, but I prefer to keep it with the XAMP, these database files, I'll probably remember it better. So um, I click up here, it gives me the basic data structure, I can copy, bring it back in here and paste, okay, um, and then just add the my SQL sample database.sql, enter, boom, okay. Okay, so <clears throat> That's done. Now, just to check it, as you saw earlier, I've got lots of things in here. Um, so there should be a product lines table, products, order details, etc. So let's check, okay? So let's have a look at uh, order details. Um, so back in here, and I'm gonna go desk, or we could do describe, order details, okay? Now it does that. Just in case you forgot, that's okay. That's just because I forgot the semicolon. Boom, nice, okay. So um, we've got two primary keys here, order number and product code. So if you wanna check that out, as you should know by now, so select star from order details semicolon, yay. Okay, looks, uh, in terms of data, looks pretty boring. Okay, so there's also customer, customers with an S, okay. Um, okay, 
So select star from customers. Yeehaw. Okay, so let's do something. And this is what you should be doing when you get a new database. Just play around with it. Select star from customers where country. Whoa. Equals Australia. Okay, so we've got five rows, which means we have five records. Therefore, we have five uh, customers that are from Australia. Um, so that's that's that. So let's just do this one more time. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to run another database. And the cool part is I don't have to get out of this particular database because um, these SQL <clears throat> files have been created nicely for us. So back in here. Um, so this Sequila, oh, I hope I'm saying it right, but basically um, these are from Oracle. So um, originally there was World SQL. We still have it, which is great, so we can play around with it. Um, and that's a database with information on countries and cities of the world. Um, problem was, back in the day, you know, lacked structure for testing new features, etc. for SQL 5, ah, sorry, MySQL 5. Um, so they created SQL sort of early 2005, sorry, Sequila, uh, early 2005. And it's pretty funny because it's... Um, I'm pretty sure you could argue that it's not really relevant anymore in terms of the actual data. Uh, Sequila data um, or Sequila database um, relates to DVD rental store. So um, hopefully my students know what DVDs are. If not, we'll have to have a lesson on that as well. Um, there's also learning SQL, my SQL script. Uh, to be honest, I have forgotten what is in there. So this is a good thing to do. It's always good to have a look. This one's actually quite clean, easy. Okay, so we've got account, transaction branch. Oh, right. This is like a banking type of account, employee, officer, product, blah, blah, blah. So we, okay. I'm pretty sure I had a quick look at this and yeah checking savings accounts so it looks like a basic um, banking database so we've got that as well awesome so okay let's run Sequila now Sequila comes with two separate ones um, we do the schema first obviously and then we're gonna go and run the data so back into here oh where are we yep <coughs> sorry still sick so source space um, make sure I spell this right hold on <clears throat> okay, so space, uh, right click, oh, that's not going to work for me, okay, let's just do it old school, um, xamp db secure dash schema dot sql. Boom. Okay, source. <clears throat> Notice um, that it went to Sequila. Okay, that's actually kind of cool because um, it was in the other one. I'm not sure. Did I show you that? I don't think I did. Right, this is a bit messy to read, um, but somewhere, because I checked it out, somewhere when you finally figure out where it actually starts, um, it actually checks for the database. And uh, here we go, drop schema if exists, secure, all that kind of stuff. So um, that's good news for us. So anyway, out of there. <clears throat> so now let's put the, the data in. Um, so source, This now this would be the inserts, uh, just to prove that to you. Um, we're going to open with Notepad and we've got a bunch of inserts in here. Okay, and so that's quite lovely. Excellent. Okay, out of there. Okay, um, let's just copy easier. Okay, backslash secure data. Awesome. Okay, so that's done. So now we can go check that out. Um, by the way, secure looks like this. It's a bit, bit messy, but um, so you can see film actors actor language, um, has an inventory, whether the customer has rented it, um, 
the rental is obviously related to the payment and what staff took it etc so it's uh, yeah it's quite complicated um, so and that's why I like this one so um, that's good so let's check it so we're going to hold on what do we have let's look at customer staff and rental cool subscribe customer okay so let's start from customer yes okay cool okay um oh yeah go. <clears throat> heaps this is good if we want to do some um, checking on dates because um, dates can be when you're first starting out with SQL uh, trying to play around with the date um, format should be fun so wow this goes on and on we're at to over 10,000 records yeehaw okay so you guys all like that um, so I'm going to stop this now anyway um, oh there we are Okay, so enjoy that. Uh, so that will all be on um, the learning place real soon. And uh, like I said, I'll probably have that on OneDrive eventually and Google Docs, etc. Just so we have a couple places for you to go to. Okay, enjoy.